For one and a half years now, the education sector has suffered interruptions in the academic calendar with the institutions totally shut for a second time in early June of a surge in cases of COVID-19. Chambok University embraced online classes, but notably the lack of electricity in some areas and the lack of equipment among the learners prevented full participation. We are aware of the challenges faced by staff and students associated with online teaching and learning. And these challenges include, for example, the cost of data. This financial year, the government committed to spare the medical and education sectors from a 12% tax levied on data as it scrapped the contentious over-the-top tax, OTT, on social media. Katunguka urges parents to support learners with gadgets to enable them learn online, given the lingering uncertainty on when schools reopen. This is happening in most universities now. Notably, I think the one that has done it well in Uganda is UCU, where every student must come with a laptop. For you to be allowed into the university, you must have a laptop as one of the materials required. The management of the university intends not to conduct examinations online. The vice chancellor says additional time will be provided for the students to catch up when the schools reopen. So we're all aware of the challenges associated with online examinations. And that's why the National Council for Higher Education has been very cautious about allowing universities to do online examinations. The fees charged for each of the courses at the university will be maintained with the online classes as it was with the physical lessons. But th th there is this feeling that online teaching is cheaper. No. I think th the debate has been on. You, you pay for the knowledge that you acquire, not how the knowledge is delivered to you. The interruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic meant the university could not do a graduation with the delay occasioned partly by the failure by students to undergo internship and teaching practice. Online graduation has now been scheduled for 21st to 23rd September 2021. It should have been held in December last year. Jackson Onyango, reporting for NTV.